So somebody emailed me, they are interested in data engineering or backend Python development. And well, if you're doing backend Python development, you're gonna have to learn the web, which means you have to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, by the way. So this individual just joined the mentoring program. He had tried other programs before, but uh, here we are. So I teach JavaScript and Python and PHP, HTML, CSS, and SQL in the program. So he had trouble wrapping his head around JavaScript. So I asked him to uh, do the JavaScript course in my program. He wondered why, because his goal is to do backend Python work. So he asked me, why are you asking me to do the JavaScript? Is it because JavaScript is so fundamental or useful? Or is it because I mentioned that I hit a wall with it? So I responded back to him, if you get your head wrapped around JavaScript, you will become a better developer overall, which means you will become a better Python developer. Besides the fact, again, if you are going to do web, you have to learn a little bit about the front end. So even if your goal is to be a full stack web developer or just a back end web developer, rather, you still have to learn the basics of the front end. When you're writing your back end code, you have to be cognizant and aware of what's going on in the front end. So you don't have to get into React or Vue or advanced uh, layout and design in the front end, but you have to know at least the basics. And JavaScript is one of those key fundamental languages that you're gonna have to learn in development these days, I would argue. For the most part, JavaScript, by the way, is, is used not just in the web, it's used in other areas as well. So if you're wondering why I say if you want to become a better Python developer, you should learn JavaScript, besides the reasons I just give, think of it this way. If you drive several types of cars, you drive a Porsche, and you go to BMW, and then you go to uh, Honda, and then you go to SUV, and then you go to sports car, et cetera, et cetera, and so on, your understanding of driving period, will just get better because you're going to start feeling different vehicles. You're going to start understanding the dynamics of driving a sports car, uh, convertible or not, uh, driving an SUV, driving a pickup truck. You're going to understand all these dynamics. The same thing with programming as well. Same thing with mixed martial arts. One of the power, well, one of the advantages of being a mixed martial artist is that you get to learn your ground game, your submission game, your stand-up game, kicking, punching. So this uh, exposure to a variety of methodologies of ways of thinking about combat just makes you a better fighter overall. For example, you can never really, it's very difficult rather to put a lock or submission on a wrestler. It's really hard because they know how to wrestle. It's like, I remember when I was doing some grappling styles back in the day, my teacher said, don't ever try this stuff on a wrestler. You're just, it's not going to work. Forget about it. You got to do something else. Same thing with programming. You learn JavaScript, your Python will get better. You learn Python, your JavaScript will, better, will get better. Don't get too caught up on what language to learn, especially in the beginning. The key is just to get your fundamentals under your belt so that you understand what programming is all about. And then the rest will come easy. I hope this is useful. My name is Steph. Some people call me Uncle Steph. I have a bootcamp mentoring program and also learn on your own courses. It's entirely up to you. Check out the links below. If you have questions, comments about this video, let me know. I look at comments. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.